Hello and welcome to my chaotic apartment. This is life after graduation. I graduated in June 2020 with a degree in music composition, which was the worst year to graduate with a degree in music, and today I'm going to be going over all the music classes that I took in college. I have put timestamps in the description, as well as a link to the website with the course requirements for the music program that I was in. In my first quarter, I was in an ensemble where I played flute and piccolo. Piccolo is basically the hazing of flute playing in college. The least experienced flute players oftentimes get the piccolo parts, which are the last parts you want when you are new because piccolos are louder than any instrument, so everyone can hear you and judge you at your weakest point. Piccolos also sound like death, which is why you're actually supposed to wear earplugs when you practice. I also took music theory and oral skills my freshman year. There is plenty of commentary about these notorious music major classes already. God, I hate music theory. I hate oral skills. I suck at theory. I'm so bad at oral skills. I hate theory. Suck at oral skills. Hate theory. Suck at oral skills. Hate theory. Suck at. I also took keyboard skills, which was really fun. We learned to sight read full orchestral scores. Well, I should rephrase, attempted to sight read full orchestral scores and everyone got an A. During my first quarter, I also took a class called Composition Colloquium, which I was required to take for all four years. We met once a week and listened to guest musicians talk about their careers. One of my favorites was Jeff Beale. He was the composer on House of Cards and Rome. A fun fact about Jeff Beale is that he uses Logic Pro to compose. Another four-year-long class I took was weekly composition lessons. These are just like weekly music lessons for any instrument. You spend a week composing music, bring whatever you compose to your lesson, and your professor gives you feedback. Sometimes the feedback is compositional feedback, other times it's feedback on orchestration or notation or all of the above. Speaking of composition lessons, I teach composition lessons, so if you are interested, send me an email and check out my website for more information. I think one of my favorite pieces that I composed during my first year was a trio for flute, cello, and piano. This was partially inspired by Hummel's trio for flute, cello, and piano. Also, while I am on the topic of music I wrote, I am going to make another less subtle plug. I recently released an album of some of the music I composed during college. It is available on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and pretty much everywhere else you get your music. Even though I went to a conservatory style music school, I was born in 1998 and I like pop music, and so I have songs on the album that are pop and some that are classical. This is not exactly the album I was hoping or planning to release after graduating. Because of coronavirus, I was not able to record a lot of the music for chamber and larger ensembles that I wanted to put on the album. It's also really difficult and complicated to release music that you composed but someone else performed, so I gave up. Everything on the album is music I created myself. There are no other performers aside from myself. However, once coronavirus is over and it's safe to see people in person, I will be recording more music I composed in college and releasing another album. Okay, that's the last plug. In the last quarter of my freshman year, I enrolled in a student-organized seminar where a few of my friends and I formed a band. Our instrumentation was trombone, clarinet, saxophone, and flute. So as you can imagine, we sounded fantastic. As much as I enjoyed being part of the band, the only reason I was part of it was because it helped me fulfill my performance requirement and get out of piccolo hazing. During my sophomore year, I took instrumentation and orchestration. 
I loved both of these classes and they were really useful. During lectures, we spent a lot of time analyzing scores and most of our assignments involved creating arrangements. I also scored my first two student films that year. My sophomore year, I also took a class on 20th century opera. I'm not really a 20th century person or an opera person, but it fulfilled one of my requirements. I also took an Alexander Technique class solely because I had heard it was an easy A and I wanted to boost my overall GPA, even though it didn't count towards any requirements. And it was an easy A. During my junior year, I took a class called World Music Cultures, which was not as problematic as it sounds, though this 10-week class was pretty much the only music class I was required to take that focused on music not written by white men between 1600 and 2000. During my junior year, I also took a class called Foundations of Music Tech, where my final was a group project, where each group created an album of music using Ableton. I also took a class called String Quartet Dialogues, where we analyzed string quartets. This class was really enjoyable, and I felt like I learned a lot. It was really useful for me because I was working on a piece for string quartet, piano, and vibraphone around the same time. I also took a class called Parametric Maneuvers slash Raw Chops, where we learned about various compositional techniques. We met twice a week, and during the first class of each week, we learned about a new technique. Then we went home, created a little composition, usually about a minute long. And during the second class of each week, we presented our projects to the class and got feedback from everyone. One of my assignments from that class eventually morphed into the song Skeleton Lies on my album. I also took a class called Music and Religion 1500 to 2000. One of my final assignments in that class was to prepare a five minute PowerPoint presentation on a song related to religion. It didn't necessarily have to be a religious song. The guidelines were very lenient. Someone presented God is a Woman by Ariana Grande and played part of the music video during class, which was super awkward. During my junior year, I also took a class called Writing for Voice. For the final, we were supposed to pick some pre-written text and write some music to go with it. I picked the text to Shel Silverstein's children's book, The Giving Tree, because I thought if the text was written for a child, then I could get away with writing music at the level of a child. Basically, I used two chords and looped the melody to save time, and I did receive an A for writing a one-minute piece of music that could have been written by a child. During my senior year, I took several unmemorable music history classes that I had put off until my last year because I'm not really a history person. That year, I also took conducting. Conducting was absolutely one of my favorite classes. I do not have words to describe the joy that this class brought, so here are some excerpts from various exams that we took in the class. I also took 16th century counterpoint and learned how to write music in a 16th century style. I 
also enrolled in my senior recital, but this was canceled because of coronavirus. If campus opens up again, I may have the opportunity to have a senior recital, but who knows? I was planning on sharing an hour of original music. I was going to conduct one of the films that I scored live. I was going to conduct a choir. There was going to be chamber music and food and friends and family, but here we are. Right before everything closed in February, I did get a chance to record the film that I was planning to conduct live at my recital, so I'm going to insert some clips from that here. And of course, if you want to listen to more of my music, I will put links in the description. Thanks for listening. Why does the spiral still spin? Circling so simple,